Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome to our learning journey. This is Devya and you are watching Trendbrain. In today's topic, we're going to be discussing um, a very simple map manipulative. It is considered to be as bead frame. And we use this manipulative in our classes to introduce operations to our children. What kind of operations, why is, it is, why is this exercise used is something that we're going to be learning. Okay, so using the bead frame, uh, we're going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's get started with this exercise. So what is a bead frame? Now, bead frame is a material which our students use in our classes to add, subtract, and multiply into thousands. Okay, so we're going to be working on these two areas. We're going to be seeing like, you know, how children will be able to use these materials in our classes. Going forward, uh, there are two different kinds of bead frames. We have a small bead frame and we have a large bead frame. Now, the one that I'm showing right now, which I'm using it in our classes, is considered to be as a small bead frame. Now, this is one of the material that we would be using in today's exercise to demonstrate. So let's quickly see the material itself. Now, this frame is going to support our children to work on the operations. This is something that we have actually learned. What is this frame all about? Now, how many strings does it have? Now, this material has four wires, if you see. It has got one, two, three, and four wires it has got. Now, if you see here, this is ones, this is tens, this is representing hundreds, and this one is representing our thousands. Now, the top wire is always for our ones, and it is by color coded with a green color. The second one is for your tens, the third one is for your hundreds, and the fourth one is for your greens. So this is a material required which talks about what it is. Now, what does each of the bead represent as a quantity? So if I move this, it's like one. If I move one of the bead of blue color, it represents I've been moving 110. If I move one of this red color, it means it's 100. If I move one of the thousand, it means it is 1000 that I've actually moved. So now the child is able to identify the quantity and along with that they would be able to identify what each of that bead is actually representing. Let's see some more examples. Now the first exercise that we have to be working over here is with respect to counting with zeros. Okay, counting without zero. The basic understanding is like when I give this frame to a child, the child should be able to focus on counting. Now say for example, if I've asked them to count the number five, Okay, since this is my units, the child will have to count how many units? One, two, three, four, five. And they have to move it towards the left hand side. Once they're done, they move it back. Now, if I say three, ten, one, ten, two, ten, three, ten. If I give them five hundreds, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, and they move it. If I give them three thousand, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Now, this is the first thing that we actually give. Now, what if I give them a larger number? What do I mean by larger number? I can actually give them a problem statement or I can write it on my board. Okay, so it is flipping. So let me flip my camera and uh, give it to you. Okay, so in case if I have this as my number, okay? So if I give them 3,456 being my number, if I give them this number, how should a child be representing this number is another question. Now, what is this first number? First number is 3,000. So we move how many thousands here? So we move 3,000. 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000. So 3,000, how many hundreds? Four hundreds. We move four hundreds, 50. 50 and 6. 4, 5, 6. Now this is the first step that you would be working towards wherein you will help the child to work with moving the beads which does not have a zero so you can give them one digit number two digit numbers three digit numbers or even four digits numbers so this is our first exercise which enables the child to work with counting with zeros now, what is my second exercise now in the second exercise we work on counting with zero now start giving any numbers which has zero within them now look at the picture now it talks about it talks about what now, there is nothing being moved in the green color. If you see on top here, we have not moved anything. So that means in this green, I have not moved any. Now look at this blue color. 
So we have one bead which is moved here. So that means it's one tenth. So I don't have anything here. Nothing is moved here. Nothing is moved here. So the number is ten. So we have moved only one tenth bead. So this is with zero. So you go with that. So give them more numbers. So we made. We saw just an example of making large numbers. Now give with zero. Now let's try out for this number. So readable format is two thousand six hundred and seven. So let's see for this number. So we do how much? Two thousands. So we move two thousands. Six hundreds. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. And seven. I don't have anything in my tens position. And once I have seven ones. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now see there is zero here. Now what will the child do now? The child will start to write two thousand. Six hundred and seven. See, because we have two thousand six hundred. Nothing is here, so they put up marker zero, and then we have seven on my larger frame. So these are the first important exercises that we actually give it to children to work. One is like they should be very confident enough in moving the beads across the strings. They have to be able to identify whether it is ones position, tens, hundreds, or thousands. And once they're good enough with this, then we slowly start giving them one digit, two digit, three digit, and a four digit number. Make sure initially there are no zeros in the numbers that you give. Second time when you give, you have to make sure that there are zeros in the numbers. Once the child is confident with this, that is when you move towards giving them certain exercises. Now, when we talk about exercises, what kind of operations can you give? You can work on static addition. Now, what is static addition? Static addition will not have any. Carry forward. So you will tell the children that children today I'm going to be showing you something. So you bring your uh, hexagonal, sorry, you bring your uh, uh, bead frame to your class, and then you also make a problem statement. You come with an equation and you come there and you tell children now let's begin doing some addition. So I will give you this problem statement. Now the first problem statement talks about what is the first number? The first number talks about two thousand three hundred and two thousand three hundred and sixty five. So you start taking your first number, right? So you had your bead frame here. What is my first number? The first number talks about two thousand three hundred and sixty-five. So how many thousands should I be moving? I have to move how many thousands? So I have two thousands. I have moved two thousands, three hundreds. It is three hundred. So let me make it a little bigger. Okay. So I have to now move how many hundreds? Three hundreds. Okay. So one hundred. Two hundred, three hundred. So I have two thousand. Then I have three hundreds. Then sixty. Then twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. So sixty five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is my first number. Now it's my second number. Second number is five thousand four hundred and twenty three. So let me take that quantity. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. I keep it here. Four hundreds. Four hundreds, twenty. So twenty, three, one, two, and three. So I have this. Now, since it is addition, I have to be adding these two numbers, right? Now I start counting. Now I start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I stop there, and I quickly go back, and I start writing. My answer in the ones digit as eight. So what is my ones digit number? So it is my eight is my ones digit number. So I write eight. Now what are how many tens are there? One ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten, six ten, seven ten, eight ten. So we have eight tens here again. So we go back here. We write eight tens. We have and then look at the hundreds: one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. So we have seven hundreds, and then how many thousands? One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand. So we have seven thousand. So the answer is seven thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight is your answer. So this is a simple static addition that you can do it. And in case if your children are really good enough with static addition, then you go to dynamic addition. Now, what is dynamic addition? Dynamic addition. Is where it is addition is performed in a similar manner, just like a simple addition. But here, children will have to be working on carryover. 
Okay, so there would be a carryover because they're going to have some extra beads, right? So we're going to be working on the carryover. Now let's take this example. So it's 2,435 plus 1,126. As I mentioned earlier, so 2,000. So I'm going to put all the beads back. Okay, so it is 2,000. So let me arrange my screen a little better. Okay, so it is 2,000. So I have 2,435. So I have 2,435 first number. Now I have 1,226. But see, I don't have six here. I have only one, two, three, four, five. So what do I do? I carry from my tenth position. So I carry from my tenth position. So I have to remember I did not have one. So somewhere I write it down. So somewhere I have to write it down. I have to remember to add one. Okay. So I count this back. Okay. So I have to add one. Right. So I have to remember that also. Now I'm going to be adding this number. So what is this number? So I'm going to add the sixth number to it. Right. So how much it is? One, two, three. So one I have to add. So I have to bring that one back. So it's going to be one here. Now let me count this. Since I borrowed from here, this is going to be 110, 210, 310, 410, 510, and 610. So this is my six tens. Then I have to add this. 1, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So I will have my 600 here. And then how many thousands? I will have 3,000. So the answer is 3,661. Okay. So this is the way we actually work with the, um, using this manipulator that is called as your small uh, bead frame to perform addition of one digit, two digit, three and four digits. Now what if I have larger numbers? So can we still perform that addition? Definitely, yes, we will still be able to perform that addition, but you will have to be using a large bead frame to perform addition of bigger numbers. Like, you know, it has ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, lakh and ten lakh. So up to million number, if at all, if your children want to be performing your addition, you can actually use this material. So these are the simple two uh, bead frame materials that we use it in our Montessori class to perform this. So today is, uh, you can practice using this material. So in the next section, we can actually see how to perform static and dynamic subtraction using the same bead frame. Okay, so that's it for today's session. Thank you so much for joining me on time. Have a great learning. Take care. If you're a new member to our channel, I would request you to subscribe. If you like the content, if you are a Montessori teacher, we make a lot of educational videos on Montessori teachers training. We make it on um, um, Canada lessons for our children who are between like four and a half to six years who are struggling to learn Canada and who have taken the subject as Canada in their uh, schooling. So thank you very much for showing uh, uh, so much of uh, uh, liking towards uh, the content. If you have anything that we want, uh, uh, you want us to do as a recording, do let us know in the comments below. We shall record them and send it to you so that we can be helpful and share this joy of learning with all our students. Happy learning. Take care.